Um, I know this was kind of like a broad video, but if you have any questions regarding vascular or echo, comment down below. I will answer all of your questions as long as I know them. <music>
there's no motion. It's just straight on the vessel. Um, so some people, you know, when you, you have the gel applied on your armpit and you slide and now all of a sudden you've moved up or you'll slip down or whatever the case may be, I think that um, vascular is definitely more like, what, what word can I use? Way more tedious. Um, it's like, you know, if you find a vessel, um, you have to trace down it. So you get here, you rotate on it, and then you have to trace down, 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 down while keeping the vessel open. And I'll make sure to leave an image of what an open vessel looks like. Um, we have competencies on those. A competency is a scan exam. So after you have lab and they show you what you need to do, you practice, 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 and then you have a competency. It's just like you have a lecture, you study, 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 and then you have an exam. It's the same thing, but for hands-on. <sighs> we okay. I went into this. I went into into this. <laughs> I went into this program thinking I just want to do echo and when they smacked me in the face with the fact that vascular was included and I saw the amount of PowerPoint and detail and stuff that we had to learn I was like oh my gosh was she even ready yeah but I'm ready and I actually really love vascular. I really love echo. I'm loving them both, but I can tell you this now. Don't be a slacker, okay? <laughs> um, I know this was kind of like a broad video, but if you have any questions regarding vascular or echo, comment down below. I will answer all of your questions as long as I know them. I can also reach out to my echo instructor because she's already a sonographer um, for people who kind of want to know a little bit more about that side of things and less of the student thing. But either way, comment down below, like and subscribe. I love you guys. Final exams are coming. We're almost done. Keep on pushing. Um, I think that's all. Smile. We need more smiling sonographers. <laughs> okay, bye. So everyone, today is my vascular scan competency. I just want to show you a little bit of one view that we're looking for. This is the distal subclavian artery. And let me tell you something. Keeping that vessel as open as she's doing right now is not easy. You can even see beautiful. it closing to the right of the screen a little bit. It's so Any cool. little movement in that vessel is gone. Um, even that waveform that she's getting down there for the velocity of the blood flow in that artery, if you move, you lose it. Her hand is super steady, super still, and I think she's going to do really well on the comp today. So this little snippet, I should have probably moved my glass jack down some more, um, is just showing her moving down to my axillary artery. I won't so much show you the screen, you'll see a little bit of it. Um, it's not going to be elongated because she's eventually going to rotate clockwise, but that's what it looks like when it's just placed there, just a circle. So before, in the previous clip, that vessel that you saw all the way across the screen was just a circle as well. So we have to practice turning on the vessel and opening it without losing it because all the vessels are so close. Um, she's adjusting her trackball, her scale, her TGC. She's doing great.